So this unit is a rehearsal of basic set theory. It is needed to fully understand the lecture on input output automata models of distributed system. So we are going to review sets, relations, and transition system. It will be a quick review. So, so what are sets? Sets are collections of elements. And for example, here we have a set A containing three elements. It has the element A, the singleton set D, and the singleton set A. So we distinguish between an element and a set containing a single element. Sometimes we do not want to list all the members of a set. Then we write it as follows. We write the set X between curly brackets and say X has a certain property. For example, X is an even integer. So this notation describes the set of all even numbers. Two things are important about sets. Order is not important. So, for example, the set AB is in fact equal to the set BA. And the number of occurrence is not important. So, the set A, B is actually the same set as A, A and B. On the other hand, an element A is not the single tone set A. So therefore, the set of A and the single tone set A is not equal to the set that contains only the element A. So we look now to operations on sets. The first operation is Cartesian product. If we write this notation, it will mean the set that contains elements that are pairs A and B such that A is element of X and B is element of Y. Here is an example. If X is a set A, B, C and Y is a set C, D, E, then the Cartesian product is the set containing the following pairs. A combined with C, A combined with D, A combined with E, and then B combined also with a by the same way, and C combined with C, with D, and with E. So what is the union of two sets? The union of two sets X and Y is a set X such that X is either an element of large X or X is element of the set large Y. So union of two sets combine all the elements together in another set. So here's an example where we have the set A and B and then the set A, D and E and the union will combine all the elements. So we have A and B coming from this set, D and E coming from this set, and E is already in both sets. So sets are ordered by a subset relation, and this is the notation you write it for subset relation. And when we write something like this, we say that X is a subset of Y, so what do we mean? By this, we mean that each element of X is also an element of Y. So saying it formally, this is the definition. If A is element of X, then A is element of Y, and that, uh, that holds for all elements of X. So it is clear here that the set A and B is a subset of the set A, B, and C. The 
subset relation includes also equality. So the set A, B, and C is also a subset of A, B, and C. If we do not want to allow equality or want to disallow equality, say in another way, then we we talking we will talk about proper subset. And proper subset you can write it like this without the bar. Here's another example which A and B is not a subset of A, B, and C because D is not included in this set. So this actually is not subset. Next, we talk about binary relations. So a binary relation, for example, x is a subset of the Cartesian product of the set by its with itself. So here's an example. We have the set A, B, C, and D, and the binary relation x consisting of the pair A, A B, E, E, E. Sometimes we call it the write it like this, the pair A, A, B, E, E. This is a binary relation because it is a subset of the, the Cartesian product of the set S. Partial order. So a pair, which is a set, and a relation, we call it the B4 relation. This is B4 relation is a relation that have the following property. So for each element x and y in S, we have the following properties. Reflexivity, anti-symmetry, and transitivity. Reflexivity says that the before relation is also an equality relation. So x is actually before x, before itself. Antisymmetry says that if x is before y and y is before x, then we are talking about the same element in the set. Transitivity says if x is before y, y is before z, then x is also before z in the relation. So if x is before y and y is before z then also we have this relation x is before z here's an example of a partial order we have the set a b we have the set a d f and g we have the partial order consisting of this set. First of all, we have to satisfy reflexivity. So that's what we did here. Every element is related to itself. And then we have A is before B. This is this one. F is before G. It is this one. A is before G because of transitivity and D is before G. Okay, so this is an example of a partial order. A total order is a partial order such that for any elements X and Y of S, they are always related and they are related as follows by either having x before y or y before x. So here is an example of a total order. You can see it here. For each element, we have the reflexivity property. 
and then all elements are related to each other so a is related to b for f f is b for g a is b for g of course they have to be related d is b for g of course this is repeated so this is not needed f now what we have now we have d is before f and d is before a this we have covered the whole relation now 